What up and welcome to Electrical Solutions YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the difference between 110 volts and 120 volts. So I want to go over three uh, terms that are used in, in the trade. Nominal voltage, which is going to be your identifier, whether you hear it's 110 or 120. Um, that just lets you know the voltage present. Actual voltage is going to be the testable voltage at that given point. It's gonna vary from time to time depending on the utility. It could be, I've seen it as high as about 124 to as low as 110 at the service with voltage drops that change is significantly inside the building or the wherever the power is being uh, supplied to. The rating is the, the manufacturer's operating range. Sometimes you'll see on receptacles, they'll say like 115 volts or 110 volts. There'll be a, a kind of guideline or a range that the manufacturer gives that says, hey, this equipment will operate safely inside of this parameter. It's typically about 10%. So on 110, you would get, uh, you know, on 110, 10% of that is 11 volts. So you could get it down to basically 99 volts or as high as 121 volts. The low side is kind of bad. The high side is 121, which would still operate, but that's all, that's gonna change just as your actual voltage changed. So technically there is no difference between 110 volts and 120 volts. Um, there's a few different ways that you can get it. So your typical residential will be 110 single phase 120 240 system. And you can take either one of those phases from uh, e each leg to neutral will give you 120 on that system. On a Y three phase 120 208 system, same thing. You can take any phase to neutral and that will give you 120. Um, on a Delta midpoint three phase 120 240 system, uh, two of those phases to neutral will give you 120. And then you have the high leg, which is 208 phase to neutral. Um, that one can cause problems because if you don't know it's there, you will burn up some equipment, which I have seen. Uh, NEC code requires it to be the B phase in the panel, but sometimes the utility puts it on the C phase. Um, and the important thing to notice with that is if you open up a system and one of your feeders is rated or not rated colored, orange is a good indication that that is a high leg and beware of what you do because you could do some damage. Um, so if I hear it all the time, you know, I need 120 and I have 110 or I have 110 and I need 120. There is no actual difference uh, system wise for what you're what you're serving unless your equipment calls for a specific range and that that, that can change. So uh, just to clarify, that's what we got. Um, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.